And the, the sad thing is, Finidi has been put in a position of um, a deficit because the first two games we played were played under his Oga. That's Jose Pesera. He was assistant then. And those two games, I thought they're two games we should have won. Lesotho, which we drew, and the Zimbabwe, which we also drew as well. This, I mean, you start the qualifier and you try to highlight your three pointers. Lesotho has to be there, home and away. Zimbabwe also has to be there. And we've, we've dropped two points or four points in here. So we have to make up for it. And I hope that we can do that against Benin Republic. Um, Finidi explained that the reason why Victor didn't come in was because while he was about to come in, Shemi Ajayi had a knock. And um, he had to take him off and replace him with um, a defensive-minded player not to open up the team. So there's also a doubt on Shemi Ajayi um, to play today against Benin Republic. I think, but I think it should be fine. But Boniface starts up front today. I'm very much sure about that. But once again, I thought Onoach Onu had a decent game. Right. Yeah, Onwachu is a victim of the fact that he's a tall, lanky guy who doesn't run a lot. And But his older play on Friday was good. good he won us a couple of fouls. So he had a chance yeah, as well. In fact, he created the equalizer. You know, at the end of the day, the so, most important statistics is goal scored, not attempts, yeah. not efforts. But it's the so, attempts. So that should we begin to look at this deficit for Finidi George objectively because of the challenges of the uh, players that were not available? For mm -hmm. instance, Victor Osime, our valuable player, was not available. Or should we be looking at it critically as, oh, okay, uh, perhaps his boss was uh, a more competent coach? Coach than uh, you know what we're seeing him put forward now. See, I've got no excuse for anyone right now uh, because our team is as <laughs> talented. Is, is the most talented in this group. Exactly. Uh, we've got the most quality players. South Africa came down to Nigeria with how many foreign-based players? Probably one. They went to the AFCON with 95% players based in the PSL. We have our players playing in the creme de la creme of European football. Our players scored a hat trick in the Europa League final. And the Mola Lukman. That's walk up material. So I've got no excuse for anyone, for the players, you know, for the manager. If you are the Super Eagles manager, you should be qualifying for every competition, irrespective of whoever is in your group, because we are one of the biggest footballing nations in, in the world. I know that Galadema said it way back in 2006 or five that the World Cup is not a bet right. But at this stage, I think that we deserve. We didn't go to the last World Cup. That should be enough motivation to want to be in the next edition. If we miss out on this World Cup, these players, this bunch of players, will be in their thirties. They would never have a chance to do that. So they have to also, you know, determine within themselves that we have to pull the chestnut out of the fire against Benin Republic, who also have a grudge against us. Remember, their coach Gennot Raw. Yes, we're meeting Gennot. We sacked him, <laughs> and that guy is still aggrieved about that. I think we still owe him, in fact, Oof. because we have to, the FIFA are judged that we sacked him wrongfully and we have to keep on paying him. So he is aggrieved and trust me, he's going to transmit that to the players who are very, very, they are, they are very physical. They played a good game against Rwanda over the last week as well, 1-0, one, one scored from a set piece. So we have to be very careful. So, so should we be worried about the Benin Republic team? Oh yeah, we should. Um, especially also we are playing in a venue where we had the Afghan attic. Uh, we are playing in Cote d'Ivoire, <laughs> uh, the Felix Sufwe Boyne Stadium, yeah. uh, which didn't uh, give us good memories. So we have to be very wary. <laughs> but objectively, I think it's advantage Nigeria because Benin Republic cannot play at home. They have to play on the neutral ground because CAF didn't approve of their stadium. So that should be advantage Nigeria. So I think that we should be able to do that get and th get three points. Uh, so is um, Coach Finidi Judge? Is it the man? See, from I, what you saw on Friday. I know with this government, they say one year is too short to rate me. <laughs> so maybe you will also be saying one qualifier is too short to rate me, but is he our man? Yeah, I mean, two, two things can be true, right? Um, I think that it's too early to, to judge, if you need to judge. But I like when managers can transmit confidence, not only to players, but even to the general public. Did you see that on Friday? Finiti doesn't do that. Even in his, at his unveiling, I don't know, maybe that's his style. It's, it's too cold. I mean, we're watching him before we came on air talk about how he didn't transmit confidence. And I like managers who can do that. I Did mean, you see that in uh, Joseph Pesero? No, I think Pesero was, was, was a bit better than Finiti in terms of transmit, transmitting confidence. Yeah, he sounded more more confident. Even when we're playing nonsense, he was still saying the right <laughs> things, you know. Uh, but maybe that's Finiti's style, which is not a problem for me. But... Is it the guy? He talks a good game. He says he wants to play like Man City. He wants his team to regain possession after five, ten seconds of losing it. Um, he wants his players to be fluid. And um, I don't think I've seen much of that. But the second half performance served as encouragement that, I mean, Alexi Wobi was a beast. 
in yeah. the second half. Right, it was. Yeah, mm. played some good stuff. Ademola Lukman also, I thought, was um, also very much good um, in the game. So if they can give us that.